Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. From my extreme right, we have Lana Parr. Lana, welcome back. Thank you very much. How did you feel after Harinam's episode yesterday, the last episode? Uh, how, did you, how did you feel? The well, breath of oh, fire. I, I felt very good. But, uh, felt I, very energizing. He gave right? me a little lecture. <laughs> he gave you a little lecture <laughs> after or before? Uh, after. After. That's um, good. <laughs> so uh, I won't go into what it was, but um, I'm going to do my best, you know. <coughs> That's right. He's given you a little assignment, too. So. She's not going to do her best. She's <laughs> going to do it. She's going to do it. That's right. That's right. Welcome back to the show, Lana. Thank you very much. To my immediate left, we have Jonathan Booth. Jonathan is a martial arts student, an actor, and I don't know, you have another dimension to you, so you do... Um, I do martial arts, I yes. model, and um, I work out. And he works out, that's right, I forgot that part of it. How can I forget with all your muscles all over? Gotcha. Now, Jonathan, welcome back to the show. Thank you very You have also told us that you will try and make yourself available for one of our future episodes. You're going to do a little bit of a martial arts demo. Maybe um, teach us some martial arts too, a little bit. Yes, well, I only know of um, groundwork, which is considered grappling and submission. So, okay. I could make, I could probably make you demonstrate those on me, then we have on. <laughs> make him submit or, on there. Exactly. So we're gonna, we're gonna have you on one of our episodes as a special. So welcome back, Jonathan. Thank we're looking you very forward much. to it. Josie and Heard, our director. Once more, you're flying solo. Thank you so much for hanging in there, Richard Swanson. Thanks to you for our studio setup the lights and the sound system. Josiane, shall we have the music, Harinam's music up there? Harinam Singh Khalsa, spiritual healer and counselor. Harinam, that was an amazing episode yesterday. And after a very long time, the breath of fire really caught up with me. <laughs> because I could actually feel the rush of blood into my head. I don't know if it's to do with my, the fact that I wear glasses, but I think I felt a bit of a throbbing. And it felt great afterwards. But at that time, I got a little worried, and I mm. thought, you know, what am I doing wrong? I even asked you that. But I think it was just a rush of blood, and I need more of that. So we dedicated our episode yesterday. Yesterday, the last episode was number 500. We dedicated it to uh, all those victims in the recent tragedy at the uh, Sikh temple. About a couple of episodes before this episode is airing right now. Harinam, could we, we, I think we got closed out at the end. Could we redo the invocation or dedication, the one that we did at the end oh, of last Oh, when we episode? closed out last time, we actually were, and, and, and continue to, right. to send our, our prayers to those who lost their lives, actually lost their lives while dedicating themselves con to connecting with their own soul and con connecting to the Creator himself, right. herself. And uh, while, and so our, our thoughts and prayers are, are with them and sending them as we, we, we said that we, we have a prayer where we chant a call, a call, and call means, a call means deathless. So we, we chant a call, a call. So even if I'm driving down the highway and there's a dog, you know, that's been hit, I'll just find myself naturally going a call, because actually that, that chant, uh, a call means deathless one. Right. And okay. so, so that's that's actually very uh, integral to our world view is that uh, we are deathless, that that we are in this uh, life for a very short amount of time, but our essence, our spirit, is deathless. So we always chant that whenever we're at the occasion where a soul is passing on, because we want to. We don't want to be kind of buried in our own misery that this is all over and they're gone forever. We, we want to remind ourselves that it actually um, this soul is, is deathless, it's infinite, and we want, we want to affirm that. Right. Yes. right. So should we chant that today? Is there... Sure, sure. If, if people would do that, we do that three times sure. usually. Yes. So we inhale. A dedicate deathlessness to all those people who lost their lives the last few, about a few weeks ago. I don't know, what do you have planned for us? 
Well, what I have planned uh, is uh, we're, we've been working on, um, on sets involving uh, healing. So we were, you know, with this uh, incident uh, and incidents like it, we, we talk about emotional healing, of course. And, and I'm also giving sets here to deal with um, a healing and, uh, and, and keeping in tune our, our body. Uh, one of the things, you know, everybody, say, everybody says this, even if they don't um, uh, self-identify as a spiritually oriented person, people are always saying, well, if you have your health, you have everything. Right. Uh, that's not actually a little statement because I think people who've been in some serious health understand that you, you, know, you, can always, um, you can always get money back, you, know, you can always make more friends, whatever. But uh, if you lose your health, it's very hard to enjoy your life right. or get it back. But enjoy your life because when you're under, when your body has uh, failed you in some serious way, no matter what you're doing, it's very hard to enjoy the quality of your life when you're in physical pain and your body's not working. So, you know, through many things that a yoga practice does, one of them is to kind of get this car running in good order. And when it's not running in good order, it starts breaking down, and there's a lot of suffering. So uh, it's a very intricate thing, of course. Uh, you can talk hours about how intricate this is, but uh, there's you know, the last episode we talked about work on the liver, how important the liver is. And if your liver, it's something like this, it's just one one organ, but if that liver is not working, you got problems. And it, it, it kind of has a chain reaction to your system. So now in this class we're going to do today. We're going to uh, do something called uh, for the elimination. You know, kind of this is like the dirty work. You know, getting rid of the garbage, right? And there's words for that, right? Detox. <laughs> so get that, get that <laughs> the detox, right? But there's other words too. Getting that out of your system. Wash off, yeah. Washing that out. Of you. But but um, uh, this is called apana. So in, in yoga, yoga philosophy, we talk about uh, there being two forces here in, in the life body. One is prana, and one is apana. Prana is like life force, so that's almost kind of like a, a constructive energy. Right. And, 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 and apana is eliminative. You need both. So it's right. like this whole yin-yang thing. So we got prana that people have heard of, but a lot of people have not heard of apana. Apana is the opposite side of a, of a prana. It's, it, it's the eliminative force, which has to also be in order. And for instance, because of diet, and mental I mean, the diet. People have very heavy meat, meat uh, uh, diet, for instance. Uh, and you've heard people saying, "Oh, that person is like anal retentive," but they actually really are. They're literally, <laughs> They're literally <laughs> anal retentive. But a lot of times, even your emotional. Psychologically, you're like the people like like they're like this, and they can't uh, you know they need a lot of magazines at the toilet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I go to people's houses. I go to people's yeah, houses, and they have the magazine rack. I'm going, what are they reading? I mean, it's like I'm a yogi. I
I'm wrong, it's not 50 pounds, it's 100 pounds, okay? So this very heavy thing, and just try to imagine like you're, you're, you're trying to wag this back and forth and you're trying to like break a wall with it, okay? All right, so you're just moving your, this is kind of making you move your pelvis, okay? Showing off her superior abs, <laughs> I like, there's a ring Major to it, hurts. no? <laughs> okay, keep up, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. So much, so much of this is mental. I mean, yeah, it seems cool. like it's physical, but you know, we, <laughs> we, it really does, it seems uh -huh. like it's physical, but actually it's kind of like, you know, uh, our mind gets tested and it's like, oh, I can't do, you know, it's like how the mind's talking. <laughs> 15 <laughs> seconds, 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <sighs> she might have been better like paper. <laughs> now hold it, keep holding it, hold it, inhale, and exhale down. There you go, there you go. Just relax for a few seconds. That was tough. That is tough. That's, that's, if it wasn't, if it, if it wasn't tough, everybody would be doing it. That's true. <laughs> Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, watch this here. Now I'm on my back like this, and I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna grab my toes like this. Okay, I'm gonna try to straighten my legs out. I'm gonna try to rock back and forth like this, okay? And again, Lana, the best you can, which is actually pretty good. Very good. You can bend your knees, Lana. You can bend, that's why you just the best you can. But the thing is, you wanna be rocking back and forth. Very good. <laughs> How is 
what's that happening? I'm not able to rock. Question what then. muscles do I use? Uh, uh, the ones between your ears, actually. <laughs> the brain. <laughs> that was just saying, I'm sorry. The brain. <laughs> no, but uh, is it the lower abdomen? Uh, yes, yes. You really, again, if you if you really tighten your, there you go. You see, now you're rocking. Sure if you tighten rocking, up, sure. right, if you tighten that up, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, 15 more seconds. Come on, Rana, you can do it. Very good, very good. Okay, now inhale. Exhale, lower the legs, and we'll just relax a few moments. That's harder than training, I'll get martial arts. Okay, now come up sitting up again, if you would, into cross legged position. Okay, now we're going to do some alternate uh, nostril breathing. And this is this is a pretty much a bread and butter in the hatha yoga. So we take our, our right hand, cover our uh, right nostril. So the inhaling left left nostril, and then just turning the wrist and covering the uh, left nostril with the pinky, and exhaling right right nostril. So inhale left, long and deep, and then. Turn your wrist, cover the other nostril, exhale the right. Very simply, inhale left and, and exhale right. Inhale left, exhale right. Eyes shut, very long and deep in left. Hold briefly, switch, exhale long and deep right.
really don't have uh, an answer in that, except I that this is trans. Well, well the, clear, the answer is is that it it, it has transformative powers that um, whoever uh, developed this uh, really kind of was tapped into this uh, this uh, human consciousness. It's good on behalf of. Lana Parr to my extreme right, Jonathan Booth to my immediate left, our director Josian Hurd, our facilitator Richard Swanson, and our special guest, spiritual counselor and healer, Harinam Singh Khalsa. This is Banu Suresh signing off. You are watching Yoga Express. Josian, when you have a chance, if you can put Harinam's credits one more time at the bottom left. For those of you who have missed that, it's www.yogaheaven.com Which is not what's on the screen, if you see. So it's actually... Oh, yeah. we've got the email yeah. both All right. times. All right, that and was And actually mistake. incorrect the first time. So it's actually right. www.yogaheaven.com. And the, second, the lower one's correct, info at...